Uh, hi, everybody. Uh, as I said, I'm Alessandro from the University of Trento. I'm a PhD student. I'm an engineer. And uh, my uh, research activity is uh, uh, part of the One Forest project, and uh, in particular regards the development of uh, biodegradable materials to promote uh, the plant growth. So <clears throat> about the talk of today, I would like to introduce you a bit my, my research activity, talking to you about uh, uh, an important environmental problem, which is, uh, of course, related with forest. So maybe you probably already know about it. But then I would like to show you the idea to solve this, uh, uh, to, to this uh, uh, problem and also the aim so, of my work. And then at the end, I will show you the results with uh, some practic practical application and also at the end, the, the future of the development. So uh, as said, uh, I'm uh, an engineer. So uh, as you probably know, uh, engineer, uh, you told that engineers love uh, math, uh, equations, uh, chemical formulas, uh, tables, uh, and, and so on. But uh, I would like to make this talk very simple and uh, I hope not to bore you uh, today. So uh, let's begin with uh, what is a cross-thinking reaction of bio-based polysaccharide materials. So uh, any guess? Well, I'm joking, of course. I as said, uh, I don't want to make uh, things too much difficult. I would like to make this talk very simple. And uh, uh, I skip all the uh, <laughs> equation and chemical formula, despite I very love it. <laughs> so uh, let's uh, begin again with uh, the real talk. Now, uh, what is the uh, One Forest uh, project? Uh, so maybe many of you already know One Forest is an European project, a multi shipping project that uh, aims at uh, developing uh, technological advancements uh, for the protection and repopulation of forests. And uh, it is multidisciplinary because uh, it involves uh, both uh, engineering, uh, engineering activities and also social economic activities. So, of course, I'm more interested in the, the engineering part. Well, uh, just a, a curiosity uh, about this is that at the beginning, I should not have been part of this project because uh, uh, some months. Uh, before the beginning of the project, I was about to be hired by a company. And uh, as, as some days before to be uh, work with this company, um, my pro one of my professors that was also my supervisor during my master thesis at the university phoned me um, and told me about the possibility uh, to apply for a PhD scholarship. And uh, he told me that it is a doctorate uh, would be about uh, this uh, One Forest project. So usually, uh, we this is a new topic for us in our department. And uh, I was very curious about this. And um, also because uh, before this, uh, um, I told that uh, usually, uh, at least in Italy or in, in the engineering field, the research is very theoretical and close to the lab. And Usually, it's difficult to find a real application of uh, your research. Um, but this time, I saw the possibility to uh, find uh, to to um, achieve something also for a very important purpose, which is the uh, forest protection. And um, and so also, it is related to one of my dreams that is uh, would be uh, to see um, something which I've come to something in which I invest my time to, to, to be applied in a real case study. And so that's why I've accepted uh, this uh, challenge. And that's why I'm here today to talk about uh, my experience and my activity. So um, about the problem, uh, as already uh, you probably know, and also as said from the previous uh, presentation, uh, forests nowadays are um, in, in danger due to climatic changing. Uh, in fact, they are uh, they are uh, destroyed by fires and are affected by um, weathering, but also by fungi, bacteria, insects. Uh, as uh, in fact, as you can see from this uh, picture above, uh, this is a picture that I make uh, I made uh, one year uh, one um, a week ago in the Black Forest in Germany. This is a, a, a bark tree, and these white spots here are uh, bark beetle uh, larvae. So bark beetle uh, can enter the, 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 the bark tree 
can detach the bark from the tree and then uh, can also kill the tree. And then the, the only possibility is to uh, cut the tree in order to avoid that uh, the, this insect uh, spread among other trees. So uh, the, uh, since it is very difficult to, to prevent this type of damages, uh, it would be important, on the other hand, to try to repopulate very quickly the forest. So to uh, plant new trees in a very quick way. But we also should consider the fact that uh, nowadays the rains, uh, uh, the, the rains are very uh, uncommon. So our idea uh, would be to um, develop some materials uh, that can support the plant during its growth. Uh, in particular, um, as you can see from this schematization, we would like to uh, develop uh, biodegradable material. In particular, I'm working uh, in my department in the field of plastic and polymers. So my, uh, our idea is to use the biopolymers that can be um, mixed with the soil and uh, can absorb the water, uh, as you can see from this figure, uh, from the uh, outdoor environment and maybe during precipitation, then can store the water and uh, then can um, they uh, slowly release the water during uh, the dry season so can that can be available uh, to the to the plant to to grow so um our aim is also according to the other project partners uh, also according to their requirements is to develop two type of products uh, one the task one is uh, uh, called the development of topsoil cover which is, as you can see from this figure uh, on the left, is a, um, a sort of mulching film that is placed at the base of a plant and it should support the plant during its growth by protecting the plant from um, the um, growth of other competing weeds because weed can uh, suffocate the, the young tree and also can support the plant uh, uh, doing this grow by maybe absorbing water and reducing the water evaporation from the soil. Instead, uh, the second uh, task is to develop a soil conditioner. In this case, uh, uh, is um, a biodegradable material uh, that, uh, as I, can, I already showed you in the previous slide, uh, so it's mixed with the soil, absorb the water, store the water, and then release it in time, also to uh, to be um, uh, used by the plant. Uh, so after many uh, attempts and uh, studies uh, in our lab, um, we uh, find uh, a very interesting biopolymer that uh, can be satisfy all these requirements and can be used as uh, both as a topsoil cover and both as a soil conditioner. Um, I skip all the parts in which I show you the preparation uh, and also the, the, um, the different uh, engineering analysis that we performed to uh, uh, study this material. But now I would like only to show you some practical experiments that we are currently done in uh, our uh, lab, um, starting from the topsoil cover. So here is supported a, a practical application of this uh, uh, topsoil cover. In particular, we uh, planted three different uh, tomato plants in uh, a garden near our laboratory, and two of them planted with the topsoil cover. So as you can see from this video, it, here it is uh, displayed how the topsoil cover was uh, applied to the plant, and is supposed to uh, protect the plant during its growth and um, so this, um, this experiment was done mainly to also to make a comparison between the plant with the topsoil cover and the plant without anything to understand how the topsoil cover behaves with the plant and uh, with the soil. So uh, also you can ask why do you use a tomato plants? Well, it's very simple because tomato plants can usually uh, grow uh, everywhere in each type of soil. And as I said, uh, here uh, and also can uh, grow very easily. And so here are the, um, the the main uh, the main uh, aim of this uh, experiment was to evaluate the the um, the feasibility of this type of material. So then uh, I reported here some of the results. Um, 
after one uh, week and uh, after one two months you can see that uh, um, the two plants with the top soil cover grew very uh, flourishing uh, are more flourishing respect to the plant without anything so it means that uh, uh, the top soil cover uh, seem to achieve the, the requirements so to support the plant during its growth. Of course, this is not uh, optimized yet because there are currently some problems uh, with the durability. In fact, uh, it seems that uh, the biodegradability is uh, too fast, uh, but uh, we are working on it. Uh, and so these results up to now are very, 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 very important. And now I will show you also another experiment. Uh, if instead uh, for the second task, which is the soil conditioner. Uh, in this case, we evaluated the um, growth of uh, grass. In particular, we uh, prepare different composition of the soil conditioner, changing the ingredients, and we mix the soil conditioner um, with the, a particular soil. And as you can see from this figure, each column uh, stands for uh, a particular composition of soil conditioner plus soil. And uh, in each pot, we um, planted uh, uh, the same amount of grass seeds, and we evaluate the growth of the plant in con under control condition. Uh, you can see from this figure that uh, after 18 days, uh, the grass grew uh, very uh, well in each for each composition. So this means that uh, the soil conditioner we applied uh, uh, was not uh, poisoning the, the, the plants. And uh, the most interesting uh, results uh, instead are here in this figure because uh, um, at the center point, uh, we decided to stop the daily water uh, supply. So the no more water to the plants. And uh, you can see that uh, some of the plants died after seven days. Instead, uh, the others survived. And this means that um, in this case, for this type of composition, uh, the, the main goal was achieved because uh, the soil conditioner stored the water and uh, released it slowly so the plant uh, could uh, survive also in, uh, in dry conditions. And so for me, this is very, very important and very amazing. Uh, so now the next steps. Uh, um, one forest uh, is currently working on four types of uh, regions uh, that are related to four types of uh, uh, forests that are boreal, alpine, Mediterranean, and continental. And uh, we are uh, mm, and we would like to apply our optimized materials to uh, these all these type of uh, regions uh, to assess the, the the feasibility of these materials. And also, I'm looking forward to see uh, something uh, uh, that I contribute to develop uh, to be applied in a real case study to, uh, to, to for such an important uh, uh, purpose, which is the, the repopulation of the forest. So uh, at the end, this is uh, the team that is uh, currently uh, involved in the, the One Forest project of the um, Polymer and Composite Laboratory of the Department for Industrial Engineering of the University of Trento. These are all the partners of One Forest. This is the website to take a look at it. And uh, thank you for your attention.